Morning traders, and this is your DAX day trade setup for today. So the confusion still continues. Um, we had a pretty much a green candle the day before, and then yesterday we ended up with a range bar. Um, yeah, so this is kind of not what I'm actually looking to trade until we get above 11,860. 11, sorry, uh, I think you know we are still going to continue with this. Um, let's just call it a range for now. But this consolidation pattern here is pretty strong at the moment. So it's up, down, up, down. And you can see down, up, up, down, up, down. So there's a lot of confusion here. It does look like the bulls are trying to take control of this and start driving it up. But I think there's still too much uh, political noise that's going to come out to actually affect us anyway. Uh, well, sorry, not affect us, but to drive us in a direction that's going to make sense. So for me at the moment, um, this market is looking like it is pretty much trending up on the lower time frames, if you look at it on the three hour. But, you know, it depends how you look at it. There's my initial trend line. Uh, there's my other trend line. And you can see how these two tails here tie up with this trend line. And then we've broken through, but we've broken through with uh, an inside bar, which is a continuation pattern to the upside. This head and shoulders are still very much in play. Uh, only thing that is concerning me is that. Okay. So you look at the oscillators pretty much all over the place at the moment, but we are, we do have a bit of a consolidation pattern here. So the big question is whether we are going to get through this level of 11,860 or not. And I'm going to want to see a three or four hour bar close above that. And then I'm going to want to see a retest of it before I commit to a long. Okay. So if we look at the hour, complete confusion again you can see we started sort of carrying on with the trend and then broke through quite aggressively and came back to test the break futures market at the moment on the DAX is up half a percent oh, DAX. yeah 0.52 percent so DAX futures are sitting at 11800 at the moment and 11800 is somewhere around here 11,800. 11, uh, okay. So we're kind of sitting right here at the moment, which is again testing this trend break. So yeah, just based on that, you know, I think I'd be looking at a short, but looking at how the buyers are stepping in and we are trying to drive us up. I'm kind of reluctant to commit to that as well at the moment. But anyway, we are waiting for central bankers uh, to come out with some noise this afternoon. So I suspect we're going to continue sideways until that uh, song and dance comes out. And once that's out, then probably find a direction. I think at the moment, total confusion. So one of the things to watch out for is definitely a break below the low of yesterday. Because the break below the low of yesterday, because that's the second lower. So there's a, a low, there's a lower low. So if this turns out to be a lower high, then you've got a potential trend change on the hour, which will drive price down at least until one of these gaps. But bear in mind, there's a gap to the upside as well that we're not tagging. Okay, I think for me, uh, pretty much going to stay out of this, not really interested in and trading this at the moment and uh, we'll just wait and see what happens but I think uh, it's time for the weekend to start we'll pick this up again on Monday anyway guys I uh, hope that helps and uh, I'll catch you later cheers for now